Yo, what's up Wastelanders, and welcome to another Fallout 76 guide. Today is the extremely thrilling topic of the survival tent. <laughs> this was added a couple years ago. It's not anything new, but they've added a couple cosmetic changes to the updates, and it's a pretty critical uh, addition to the game that I don't always see everybody using, and it's also kind of hidden in a less than ideal menu that's easily forgotten so if maybe you're one of the people that just doesn't use it or was curious if it was worth it or what was going on with it this is the guide for you so you open your quick key or hot key menu on pc that's f and then down here you'll see survival tent it's uh, for fallout first on unfortunately but you are rocking that you can use this so press T and then wherever it's shaded green you can apply it we'll just move it over here and you can see it's free you can move it pick it up throw it around however you want uh, don't be worried if you are on a world where it says it's overlapping with another player it's not a big deal you can move it and move it back as many as you want for free and you'll see that it overlaps with a few people occasionally because of there kind of being some key areas that it's best to put and that's kind of one of the main tips with it being free so as an example my camp is up here basically the most northern part of the map and then you'll see a lot of people put it down or not drop site v9 with the, the queen event so a lot of people can fast travel there super quick for free and it's so far away from everything else it's just a good strategic location for it so you might get overlap here but this is a great spot to put it if you're into that and then another one is the rusty pick another pretty far location that's where usually where i keep mine it's pretty far from my other fast travel spot that's free so it works well for me and then you can just access mama mole for the some of the resource management and daily and weekly stuff so that's the the main tips to put that another one's white spring area too if you're grinding but you know to, to each their own whatever you want the the tent comes with five key things you got your sleeping big music and cooking which are kind of just the three primary uh, survival utilities if you will and then you have your stash box and scrap box um, if you have follow first obviously use a scrap box so it's extremely convenient to give you both next to each other um, the Christmas theme tents my favorite this is not the default and it's just a little fun dystopian vibe that you get with it you can change the skins as much as you want as well that's just in the Adam shop I believe you get at least one or two if you have fallout first and then there's one to buy there's some other event ones and other tabs and then you can unlock the settler and raider tent with the previous settler and raider dlc that came out the additions for that they're really not anything too cool the raider ones are more unique though we can check those out really quick if anybody's interested so you don't have to Google images of them later. Pretty sweet. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. Skull. Black barbecue grill. Not a regular barbecue grill. Incredible, right? And not so great sleeping bag. Ooh, cherry can actually sit in. That's kind of cool. I mean, it's cool as a chair is to sit in. You know, we're all playing this game, so. Oh, a little lame, right? <clears throat> Some lures on it, broken little bug light. Not bad actually. It's all right. The first spotter one, I'm pretty sure, is kind of lame, but let's just check out really quick since we're doing it. Um, yeah, it's clean. I mean, if you like the clean vibe, kind of like that sanitary. Uh, camp skins you can get on the distillery stuff it's kind of reminds me of that so if you're kind of more role playing that and want the clean pre pre nuclear look then this is for you it's not as bad as i thought it was but yeah hopefully that was helpful for uh any tips of where you put it how to locate it um and some of the viewings of which ones that you might want to unlock uh christmas one's obviously the best but 
this helped if you liked it please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one see you guys